Okay, so for this problem, so it's dealing with the bond purchasing, the bond pricing formula. So let's do first and second bond, right? Uh, par value of a thousand, coupon rate paid semi-annually. So that would mean that we'd have to do, sorry. We'd have to do, Five divided by two, which is two point five, and uh, we have to multiply that by the par value, so point zero five. It's twenty five. Okay, so the coupons for both are twenty five. Now a a. Now um. Uh. Annual yield rate of 5% semi-annual, right? So 2.5%. And then 30 years times 260, right? Plus redemption 1,200 feet to 60. And then 60... J compounded semi annually plus redemption value of 800 V to the 60. Now we want to calculate J, right? So let's first calculate this. We could use the TDM because that 25 as the payment, 60 as the number of years, 2.5 as the interest rate, 1,200 as the future value, compute present value. Uh, payment. Okay, so. Uh, 25 payments, 60 number of years, 2.5 is interest rate, 2.5 Man, there's something wrong with my calculator. 25 is the payment, 60 is the number of years, 2.5 is the interest rate, 1200 as the future value, compute, present value, it's gonna be 10, 4, 5, 46. Now, let's, uh, now once we find the price for this, we could find the effective interest rate by uh, solving for another bond price formula. So we're going to set 1045.46 as the present value. Um, 25 as the payment, 60 as the number of years. 800 as the future value, compute interest rate. It's going to be 2.20. And then once we find out that 2.20 is the interest rate, say equals to J, what, is, what would it have been before it was compounded? We multiply both of these, we end up getting D.